Greetings and welcome to my channel, View From My Desktop. We here at View From My Desktop believe that everyone should have, believe that everyone should be able to hear good sounding music. Should be able to have a good sounding hi-fi at an affordable price. It sounds nice and fits your budget. So let's get started. Okay, recently I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, Deron, and we were talking about um, listening to vinyl and getting to vinyl, one of the things we were talking about. And he mentioned a place in Wilmington, Delaware called Squeezebox. So we met up at Squeezebox and the guys in there were, it was a really nice, friendly environment. And they have a lot of vinyl. I picked up a couple of um, um, vintage albums. And um, it was a really nice place. They also sell um, vintage equipment also. So um, if you're looking to get into vinyl or you're into vinyl, if you're into vinyl, you might want to take a stop over to Squeezebox and Squeezebox Records. And um, they may have something you like over at Squeezebox Records. So uh, anyway, I pulled out one of my um, vintage uh, turntables and it wouldn't play. Wouldn't turn at all. So what I did was I took it to a friend of mine, Paul, over at um, You Break, I Fix. It's, a, it's an insurance company um, down in Wilmington. They're on uh, Kirkwood Highway. And by the way, Squeezebox is over on 11th Street um, in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, you break out fixes over on, is over on Kirkwood Highway. But anyway, I took my uh, turntable to you break out fix. They had it for a couple of days. I went and picked it up and it was spinning again. I needed to pick up a needle. I picked up a needle from Amazon and um, it was spinning a little faster with the new transformer. And I, you know, adjusted the speed on there and it was playing fine. Uh, one of the problems I had though was that most of the amplifiers I have now are class D amplifiers and they do not have a phono preamp. So uh, I needed to get a phono preamp. Uh, I have a Phono preamp, a decent phono preamp. Uh, I'll be doing a uh, video on that one soon, hopefully. But um, I needed another one for my vintage turntable, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. I don't, well, I don't spend a lot of money on anything for, for the most part. But um, so I looked at some on Amazon, and I'm gonna show you three that they have. Um, they all go for around twenty dollars. Just some of them styles go down a little bit less than that, maybe about fifteen dollars. But um, pretty much they have this style. I mean, there's a lot of there's a, a lot of sellers on Amazon selling something that looks just like this. Um, when you plug it in, it comes on. Doesn't have any on and off switch. No volume control, has a ground wire, a socket for your adapter, comes with an adapter, RCA in, RCA is out, and it has a jack for a headphone, um, there's no volume control or anything, and uh, this one sounds okay, uh, sounds okay, but they all look like they're probably the same manufacturer, just different distributors. The next one is um, pretty much the same thing. Ground wire, plug for your adapter, 
RCA in, it's RCA out, headphone jack, but this one has an on and off switch. So you can turn it off when you're not using it, turn it on when you need to play something. And um, this sounds a, a little better than this one, but they, they all imagine, they all sound pretty much the same though. Um, they sound, I have a vintage receiver and they all sound better than that. They don't, uh, they're my older vintage receiver. It wasn't a very expensive receiver, but I have an old vintage receiver, and they all sound better than that. And then they have the ones like this, which is pretty much, uh, I, I guess, about as good as you're going to get for twenty dollars. Um, has a round wire plug for your adapter, RCA in, RCA out jack for your headphones, on and off switch, and it has a gain control so you can adjust the volume, you can adjust the gain on your turntable. And it has a volume button. On, on this one, it doesn't seem to be functioning correctly, but I would imagine that, you know, uh, you're getting a lot of, you know, mass production stuff, and uh, so you may not get a real high level of um, quality control but they you know the company refunded me for this one because this was not functioning properly and then some some things going on with the with the volume with the gain and with the volume but uh, they all sound about the same they all go for about twenty dollars so if you have a vintage uh, turntable that doesn't have a phono built-in phono preamp or any turntable that doesn't have a phono preamp or you have a turntable and you don't have a receiver with a phono preamp you may need one of these and for twenty dollars if you're looking to upgrade the system or incorporate a turntable into your system and you may need one of these so uh, I, I like the one with the on and off switch and the game control. Um, I really wouldn't need to buy it for the headset, but it comes with one. But um, uh, it should be working. It's not. It's not working. Uh, but anyway, um, that there you have it. Um, be all about twenty dollars. You know, if you're into vinyl or you're looking to get into vinyl, you may want to invest in one of these. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps you in your search to um, upgrade your system. Um, and like we here at, at View from My Desktop, we here at View from My Desktop thinks that think that things should be affordable. You should, there should be an affordable option that is a decent enough quality that you can have something decent to listen to. You know, um, you got phono preamps that cost hundreds of dollars. Um, and I'm not saying if you, don't, if you don't have it, they don't sound great. Everyone doesn't have hundreds of dollars to spend on high power equipment. But just because you don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on hi-fi equipment doesn't mean you don't want to hear something that sounds nice. You know? And sometimes you can find an affordable option that may not be great, but it just may be good. And sometimes good is better than nothing. You know? Or bad. I'd rather have good than bad. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give me the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button. It really helps the channel, helps me to uh, get equipment in to uh, review. And um, peace.